Hey guys, it's Megan with MeganNicole.com and today we are making this pumpkin ring. So I really love this wreath for fall because it's super easy to make and it's very inexpensive. One of the reasons why they're so cheap to make is because the wreath form itself comes from Dollar Tree or you can find it at Dollar Tree. The wood beads, you can find these on Amazon. You can actually get these in the stores too. I just always order them from Amazon. I think they're about 10 bucks. I have that linked in the blog post that goes along with this video, and you can find that in the description box below. But I think you get enough beads for like three wreaths or something like that. You'll need some twine if you wanna wrap the stem like I did, and then some type of greenery. This is lamb's ear, and it's from one of those garlands that are like six feet long or whatever they are. I get these at Hobby Lobby. I like buying my greenery there just because they have it on sale 50% off like every other week. And I think it's pretty. Let's see, is that everything? Oh, and then you might want spray paint if your reform comes black and maybe your door is a darker color that you're gonna hang it on. You might want it to be white like I spray painted mine or maybe gold or whatever color you want. I would just suggest maybe doing some type of color that would contrast your front door or wherever you are going to hang it. Okay, so let's talk about how I made this wreath. First step is to spray paint your wreath form if you want to. You'll see that I'm spray painting a bunch of different wreath forms. I eventually want to make some for some friends and family, so I just went ahead and did it all at once. Spray painting these is fairly easy, however, I do have some really good spray painting tips on my blog, so I'll link that in the description box below. Okay, so once you get this spray painted, the next step is to disconnect the tops of these wires from the form so that you can slide the beads on. This is a little tricky. You can use wire cutters. I think that's what I'm using. Snips is what I usually call them. You can probably use some scissors, but you probably will ruin them. Uh, and then you can also just wiggle them back and forth and they'll usually pop off. Whatever you do will work. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease. So once you have all of your wires cut, the next step is to add your beads. So I went ahead and filled one in at a time. And then on my last bead, I fill the bead with hot glue and let it kind of ooze out. And that glue that's oozing out, I connect it to the top part of the wreath. Then you're going to want to hold it there for a little bit so the glue dries. And then once it's dry, add some more glue, like a dime size amount, to the whole thing. So like the outside of the wreath as well as the, the wire that you cut. And then repeat that step for the rest of your wires make sure once they're all on I would maybe give each wire like a little wiggle check so it's not going to come off your form and then you're ready to decorate the top so once that's all said and done you're ready to add your twine to your stem if you would like I started by rolling out a bunch of twine so I have plenty to work with then tied it at the bottom and kind of scooched it down as much as possible and then just wrapped, 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 wrapped. And then just glued it at the top. Super simple. Again, you don't have to do this to yours, but I think it adds like a cute little fall touch. Then you get to add your greenery which I feel like it just finishes off the pumpkin. I went ahead and attached it with wire this time, but you can also use your hot glue gun if you don't have floral wires, either way. The only thing about using the floral wire is that I had green wire. I actually had white wire. I don't know why I didn't use it for this pumpkin, but the green wire kind of sticks out like right here against the white pumpkin form. I could paint it, I'm probably not going to. So just keep that in mind. So if you're gonna add the greenery to your wreath, you're gonna need maybe like what, six inches? It's probably longer than six inches. I don't know. Just kind of lay it against your pumpkin and then cut off the amount that you want and then cut off a second piece to kind of match so they're even on both sides. And then if you're going to use the wire, I added a piece right here and then also at the end. And it doesn't have to be super tight. It just needs to be tight enough to stay on the pumpkin. And that's basically it. It's a super easy DIY and it's so cute for fall. It'll really dress up your porch or you can hang it on like a mirror or 
you can really do anything with it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to help. And I cannot wait to see your guys' pumpkins. Please tag me in your DIY pumpkin wreaths when you are making them and when you're decorating with them. And I hope they bring you that perfect fall feel for this season. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm having a lot of fun making this, these videos and adding them to my blog. And I just appreciate you guys so much. So thanks again and have a great day.